Welcome back to my channel. What's up? I am here today to discuss what I'm doing for the summer as of right now. Uh, One Book July is coming up, so I'm hoping that I don't have to work too hard for that, although that's kind of like defeats the purpose of One Book July. But uh, this is a year old and I always come back to it no matter what. It seems to be my, well, besides, you know, pocket size and this particular binder are the binders that I tend to lean towards when all things get confusing and like overwhelming. So um, my last, my most recent vis video was an update of my Foxy Fix and yes I love that binder, it's beautiful, but quite for, and it was functional, it worked for me, like I could plan well in it, but considering how much I'm on the go and how much I need to schedule and things like that, it was just not realistic. So I am back in this baby and I wanted to show you what I'm doing for the summer. Um, I'm planning on, my goal is to stay in this uh, particular system um, all summer. I do have a Kate Spade Wellesley coming in navy blue. I'm excited about that, but at the same time, I'm a little like, oh no, what have I done? Because I'm very happy in this right now. And the Malden is m my favorite file effects. Um, I do have a pocket croc, and I like it, but surprisingly, I like the Malden better. Um, it's just where my heart is, I guess. Um, so I do want to purchase all the colors of this as I can as many as I can get my hands on um, but that will come later I keep coming back um, so I will have an update of the Kate Spade when I move into it I don't know if I'm gonna move into it right away the reason why I got it I figured the zip binder would be more compact for what I need because right now it's not really about the prettiness although I like to have a pretty binder like insides um, but it's really about the functionality. I need it to be throw, be able to throw into my bag and be like ready to go. Um, sorry if something pops up. I have people calling me. Um, and this is just, this is just what I'm doing. So I've downsized. I don't carry a lot of planner supplies with me anymore because quite frankly it's not necessary um now last summer when I worked at the pool I did carry some planner supplies because I had a lot more time in between lessons or um on my lunch break to actually plan but usually I would just go to sleep um in the mornings I would do a lot of my planning videos but this is what I've I've been doing for for about um uh, a few days now this particular thing I've been using this since Christmas this is I've been using this since Christmas um, it's helped me downsize what I use and things like that I got this let this is real leather this is a leather roll off of Amazon it was only like four bucks it, it's very thin which I like and the more I use it the softer it gets and I just love it even more um, it is handmade so you will see like the imperfections but that's what I love about it um, these are my most used utensils um, when I was in the Foxy Fix, I would hand draw a lot of my layouts and things like that, so that always came in handy. I keep it in here because I still like to do that. Um, and then you'll see my two main mild, mild liners that I use. I use these for scheduling, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, a friction pin, also used for scheduling. This is mainly for function especially during the summer because like I said it's a very busy time for me and I don't really have time to play around um, scheduling is a pain in the butt especially when it's every 30 minutes but anyway um, this is my go-to like uh, ink pen just basic ink pen it's the paper mate in 0 0.5 this is a brush pen just in case I want to do some lettering and it's a micron brush pen and this one is, or pigma I mean pigma brush pen and it's uh, in black and I have the blue and red but I just carry the black with me a white gel pen which is the Signo which is honestly better than roller the jelly rolls um, these this is my favorite brand of pen right now um, it's 
awesome. It's a Faber Castle. When I learned about these, I fell in love deeply and have been using them for over a year now. This is the 0 0.3. Um, you'll find it in a pack for as S, and it's like about four bucks a pen. Um, and I also have a small chisel, um, which is what I, when I was uh, in a bullet journal, I would use this to shadow my boxes, and I still use it as so. And then, of course, the Coletto, which is one of the most important pens that I have. I'm actually looking to purchase a new one because this one's a little cracked. Um, but this is my color code system right here, and it's all here, ready to go. And it's in gel ink, and it's in a 0 0.4, which I really like. It's very thin, and I'll show you what I use that for. So these, and I have a pair of sizzles back here, and this is what I use. And I do have a um, Ollie clip there which is in all my setups all the time. I always have an Ollie clip around. And it's the only Ollie clip I have, so. <laughs> and it just rolls up like nicely and wraps around. And it has a really nice um, blind embossing of, I guess it's like a coat of arms and it says Twilight. And then this charm on the end. I mean, hold on, I gotta look at it closely. I can't even explain what that is, but um, it's very interesting, and I got it off Amazon, and I'm very pleased. Now, when I first got it, I thought it was cheap looking, but honestly, it's it's pretty epic. So let's get going. So this is the Malden in purple, um, personal size. It's over a year old. It's still doing lovely. I am not easy on my binders. Partly why why I left the. Um, Foxy Fix is because I am so hard on my binders and I don't have time to put my planner in a bag within a bag which is what I did with the Foxy Fix to kind of keep it together um, because it's so floppy it's kind of little, 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 all over the place kind of like one of those inflatable tube men <laughs> you see in front of car places it's just kind of little, little, little. Um, and I loved how I set I, I ended up with a very beautiful setup in the Foxy Fix and I loved it, it had all my artwork in it and like I said, it was super functional, just not realistic at this time. So let's just go right into this. I think I've talked enough. So um, in this setup, you're not going to see too much decoration. It's fairly plain. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not like super plain, but um, it's not going to be too much. I have a few um, Planner Society die cuts with the leopard. Just like a few, um, I realized I didn't like decorating with all Planner Society or all different, like, those types of die cuts because, to me, I find that a little boring. I need something to mean something to me or, like, really go with my theme. So, I, I have all this Planner Society stuff that I got from Trade and Sell Group. It was, like, bits and pieces that I'm not even using now, um, and I'm kind of kicking myself for it. But I do use some here and there. And I'm sure I'll use it throughout. But a lot of things I have in here are things that I've made myself. Or, I mean, honestly, it's fairly simple. You're going to see a lot of this. Everything in here is repurposed um, from things that I've already had. Because I refuse to buy anything new right now. Um, planner supplies, anyway. I did just get a uh, navy blue... Kate Spade, but we'll see how that goes. So inside this zip here, I have things like stamps and have some wash tape that's been in here for like a year. It just happens to go with my theme. I tend to do a black and white theme in here every single time. I think I did like a really colorful unicorn theme for One Book of July last year. Um, but by the end of July, I had already downsized. Like I said, nope, too much stuff. I don't like to fill up the pockets anymore completely. Right here, I just have a little piece of this uh, scrapbook paper that's like a dolly. I want to call it dolly paper from Michaels. And a journaling card with those black and white horses. And then some page flags, my little pandas. These are two washi cards um, with coordinating washi. And now, this is a green, which I kind of like. But the reason why that's there is because at one time I had my green alien, Angelus, 
uh, she's a planner alien, totally rad, has a little bow, but um, I had hints of green throughout, but I took it out, I didn't really like how it looked, so I changed it, but I do, I did keep the washi that I had there, and then I just got some gold and white and black here, it just kind of goes, and I, I do use washi on occasion, now I will tell you my new setup kind of is our, I'm using Coco Daisy inserts from like God knows how long back when, but they were given to me by someone, and I actually really love her inserts because I can just do pen to paper and feel like it's pretty enough. So um, I'm actually considering. I've, I, Coco Daisy has been by far my favorite for the longest time. I just never bought a box or subscribed or anything like that. Um, I watch her on YouTube, so I'm actually considering subscribing to like the personal size. Um, monthly box to get those inserts that I love. Okay, so in here I have this folder that I've made and I did make it to expand. It's a sticker file folder which I'll get to that in a second. These are just quick little vellum notes that a friend of mine has given me and I find myself too many times out and about needing to write a quick note to a friend and uh, have nothing to work with and these fit perfectly and don't take up make it too bulky. So this guy right here I made for my hand stamp stickers which most of you if you watch me know about that. Um, and they are all labeled. I have different dividers for each thing category. I have headers, checklists, this is like bills and events so basically things that I go out of the house to do, errands, chores which are within the house, weather stickers and then creative which are like YouTube and any kind of drawing or art project I have. Or projects so I'll just show you an example of what I mean by hand stamped if you don't haven't watched me before um, I like to hand stamp my own stickers and this is literally all I use I'm actually looking to get rid of all these stickers that I have I never use them I have a lot of kawaii cute stickers because I really love kawaii things um, and I tend to just keep them I don't even use them it feels like so I don't know I I need to get over my obsession um, if you're starting in the planner planning community it's really a rabbit hole um, you get sucked in and you want all the things and then you realize over time you'll realize what kind of planner girl you are whether you are a sticker planner girl then it's a good thing but I don't plan with stickers that much um, I like them but I don't have time for them I need something that I can do quickly and I'm also a one binder planner girl I don't I can't you really have multiple planners working at once it's hard for me I have tried though um, okay so this this is just a little layering I mean I'm sure y'all know what acetate this is it's like the only essay I can really find now is like from Michaels this is old I've had this for made like this for a while and I just added um, which is just a like cardstock um, from Michaels or I don't even remember where I got it and then I added the heart and then this from Planner Society and then clipped it together here so here I have I, I drew this myself this Planner Society but here I have um, a vellum um, folder that I've made and in here I have my functional stickers that I go to often. Now I do have some pretty ones here that my friend made me that I like to just keep there so I can look at them when I get bored. But I also have like a, a little cute vellum. This is another note card set my friend gave me recently. Um, and I just kind of put some passwords in there. They're not all my passwords but you know it's kind of fun. I had this in my last binder set up because it was really cute. I was doing a very artsy type look so you know I was had a lot of tip ins and things like that now I'm trying to mainstream uh, kind of streamline my things um, page flags page flags really cute my friend sent me these I guess they were like a Daiso run or something more because I use the GTD system I guess you could call it I use it you I guess you could say I use it loosely but honestly I do follow it pretty pretty well within my planner. Um, I suggest Brandy Michelle Plans if you want to jump into it right away. If you're interested in me going through how I came about the GTD system and how I use it, feel free to comment and I'll be happy to go through that with you. Um, but if you're interested in it right now, check out Brandy Michelle Plans. She's really the one that jump started me into doing it. And you guys, if as long as you follow it, it really is life changing. So this first 
divider it says two action is actually my inbox the reason why i put the two action is because that was the sticker that i had but also everything that goes in here i need to put into the action that it's made is it actionable is it something you do right away is it something you put in the list section is it something where does it need to go projects calendar what is it so that's what this is for um and that's honestly all this is. And I'm using Kiki K paper because I'm repurposing and using what I have. And honestly, I don't mind the thin paper because the Faber Castle does not bleed through. So I like that. And then I also have this pen that's like a ballpoint. So that doesn't bleed through. This is from Ugly Duck Planning. And her name's Mary. She does. She has a Facebook group that has a lot of free printables. Check her out. This is my list section. This is where everything goes a lot of this is like a big section for me this is where your routines would go um things that i need to do this is like someday maybe type i have a lot of someday maybe lists this is one of the things i need to fix around the house a diet i need to follow um my wish list my goals and what i've done with this insert this was a jane davenport insert that i've turned into a list insert i just got some headers and covered them up which i'm out of these headers so i need to find someone that can make these because I'm not really buying Michael stickers. Um, this this list insert came from when I first started planning. I got a Kiki K lavender and pink like watercolor binder and I ordered these off of Amazon. I love I have a whole set of like different ones by the same guys. Um, just check on Amazon and type in like personal ring inserts and you'll see it. Love them. These are so cute. They have cute little characters and stuff but I'm using this this is a packing list for when I go to New Orleans someday maybe there's another someday maybe here and waiting for these are two of the um GTD system titles I guess you could say and I just have a chunk of these types of lists now this I literally took a piece of scrap paper <laughs> and cut out a heart because I'm just tying in the leopard because these dividers are rather boring but I like that right now because they're not distracting um, this is a, I have two sections of a planning section. The reason why this isn't titled is because it is part of this planning section. This is my calendar. Here are my birth dates and things like that, important dates. And I think I have my important information. Okay, my personal information is covered up. Then I have things I want to thrive for this year. And then my year to glance, which is what where I track my period and days off. And then I have my monthlies, which are also Kiki K. I never thought I would use them because they're so thin, but I actually really like it. And this is where my Coletto comes in handy. I color code my items in here. Things that go here are things that are set in stone pretty much, um, or also my schedules, like my daughter's schedule, my husband's schedule, and mine all go here, along with, like, um, for example, holidays and then uh, appointments. Pink is my daughter, so anything in pink belongs to my daughter. Orange are like appointments and holidays pretty much anything that has that needs attention uh blue is work and um that's about all you'll see here orange pink blue that's about all you'll see in here and then sometimes i'll use stickers but very rarely i just happen to see these and i put them in because they're all the vacations my daughter has two week vacation so jealous and then I have a vacation right when she gets back so that's kind of sad because then I don't see her for a while and it kind of breaks my heart but yeah that's that's what my monthlies look like and I have it set up until um January um that's my goal is to be in these same inserts until January I'm hoping that I just kind of stick with this personal size within this size I really loved using the wide inserts in my foxy fix or b6 size but to me it was just too big um I don't need all that space personally I just don't and um it kind of it was really fun and I still like going through that binder but I just I this is perfect this is like perfect size for me this and pocket size pocket size is a little too small for me right now so this is the second part of my planning section like I said just cut scrap paper glued this on um, this is where all the magic happens um, I have some numbers in here so um, I gotta be careful but basically the this is where I'm using the um, 
the Cocoa Daisy inserts and I've got, if you guys have Cocoa Daisy inserts personal size that you don't use, please send them to me because, or I will pay you for them because I use them and I see myself using them religiously for like for a long time because they are so functional for me. So in the front of the week, this is the week on two page here. In the front of the week, I put my goals and then I'll have my review for the week. Goals for the week, review for the week. Then I'll have my week, which is where I do most of my planning, like things that are set in stone. And so I can see a week and a view, like what's going on. So if I need to plan something or meet up with somebody, I can decide which day. Like this would be a good day because there's not much going on. Um, and then, um, and I use my hand stamp stickers here, as you see. That's like the only place I really use them. And then here, um, meal planning and then grocery list. So, self-explaining, that's what I use that for. And then, so I, all this is within the week. This is how I do within the week. And then here, this could be, uh, I said vision board, but I think it's going to be like my journaling spot. I like to have, within the week, I have a place to write, plan, prep meal prep like everything i need is within this one little section and i really like it so this is going to be where i journal or thoughts or whatever or it can be a vision board or it can be a long task but the reason why i didn't really want to use this as my weekly task is because my bookmark here i have on the back my next action list which is where i put my weekly tasks of what i need to accomplish so i don't think it's necessary so this this back so this area right here may be like, I may use it for journaling or whatnot because each daily does have notes and ideas, but I'm thinking maybe not journal. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I just haven't come up with that yet. But basically, I use my days as is. I've got too many numbers here. Let me take you to like an empty. Um, so I just put a sticker here, which comes from this sticker book from Michaels. Totally love it. It has a bunch of different types of sticker, and weekly stickers, and then I even put on my monthlies, I had the monthly headers. Um, works really well. So this is the front, you have a schedule, and then you have a to-do list, and then the water, and then on the back you'll have a call or email, and then notes and ideas. And I really like this because it covers everything that I need. Now... For scheduling for my swimming, it's back here, and that's very important. One of the most important parts of my planner, and why I moved to this Malden was for this. But I'll show you that. So that's that's literally how I plan in a day and a week weekly plan. My personal planning is here. Uh, work planning is in this book back here. Now this is my notes section, self-explanatory. I'm seriously using Kiki K paper right now. This is my. Um, this is my project section with the GTD, David Allen's GTD, you have a project section. So anything that takes multiple steps, you move to projects. So this is what the section is, and this has like my YouTube and things like that. Any kind of project I want to do will go here. So I even have like a little YouTube section. And then personal. This is really supposed to be referenced, but I didn't have a sticker, but I understand. And it holds passwords and your finances and things like that, which I use this insert from Amazon that I was telling you about from that same uh, stack of uh, inserts that I was showing you earlier and they're really cute. Um, keep in mind this is like two years old. <laughs> okay these are two years old. And then I have, um, I keep up with my vacation fund in here um, and then I have a lord and then I have numbers and things like that. Um, and then I even have the stickers from Kiki K so I can try and use them up. And I made another vellum folder because I liked this better with the theme, but I decided I made it a little bit but about a centimeter too long, so it drove me crazy that it didn't match up in the front. So I put it in the back to put little pieces of like memorabilia and stuff like that. And then this is, I made this to lift my pages. This is my, um, Certification to prove that I am certified and do have the knowledge to do what I do. And this booklet is actually a standard size TN insert from Hobby Lobby. 
Um, let me show you. And I've cut the bottom off. And I can't show you. I have to be careful because I've scheduled two months out in advance. Okay, so this is how I use it. Um, it is a Monday through Sunday week with a view. And this is my favorite type of setup view for my work. Um, for scheduling. So I was so happy when I saw this and basically only had to cut off the notes section. So it really worked well. And what I've done is put the day in a slot that you'd have like your top four or whatever. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I put the key of what stands for and then the month here. And basically I will fill out, let me see if I can, without actually showing y'all the um, numbers. Hold on. Okay, so this is how a week looks. I see a lot of people <laughs> in a week that's not even fooled yet. Um, I use, I have to be careful with how much I work because I do have an illness that causes me to lose energy and is quite painful at times, so I have to be very careful. The water does kind of help. But anyway, back here I have some stickers I hardly use, but I love them, and they're there, and this pen. And that is it for this setup, you guys. This has been very functional and exciting for me to have. I've been very happy with this setup. It's it's very simple, as you can see, um, and I am not distracted with this setup. I have found myself planning more accurately using this setup and pen to paper. Like I, I just prefer it this way. I find myself more motivated, um, along with my motivational YouTube videos with, you know, watching uh, cleaning videos and things gets me going. But, um... I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or if you're interested in me doing a GTD series of how what's how it's going in my life, just comment below. And until next time, bye.